Yo, what's going on dudes? Hopefully everyone is doing okay. So welcome back to the channel. In this video, I wanted to talk to you about something that you might be aware of, you might not be aware of. It's not something you're going to find in your theory book. And that is called Smidzy. If you're not too sure what that is, hang about and we'll have a wee chat and we'll go over exactly what it is and how to hopefully avoid it. So what is Smidzy? You may have heard of it before and you might be thinking to yourself, I know exactly what motocross is talking about. Or you might be thinking to yourself, what the hell is he talking about? <laughs> so Smidzy stands for, sorry mate, I didn't see you. So unfortunately, it does happen. Something you have to be aware of when you're riding a bike, you have to be aware that it can be dangerous and there can be risks involved. You're at risk if you're driving a car. You're at risk if you're driving a lorry. You're at risk if you're driving any vehicle on the road. But the problem with bikes is they're smaller. Sometimes people don't see us. So there are several situations where this can happen. It can happen at junctions, it can happen at roundabouts, it can happen when you're switching lanes, when you're overtaking. You know, there's so many different scenarios where this smidzy comes into play. But the one I want to talk about today is junctions. Now we've probably all been in a situation where you're travelling along the road, you're travelling along a main road, and you've got a side road coming from the left with a car waiting to pull out. That is every biker's worst nightmare if that car pulls out. And what that is, is that's a smidzy. Sorry mate, I didn't see you and he pulled out. So there's a couple of things that you should really be doing is treat not just any car, but any vehicle on the road as if they haven't seen you. That's the way you should be thinking about it. Because if you're treating it like this guy has not seen me, I need to be careful, the chances are you're going to avoid a situation. So that's the first thing, is treat every vehicle, any vehicle, it doesn't matter what it is, treat it as they haven't seen me. Especially the, these big things, lorries, buses, you know, they're big and their mirrors are pretty limited. So you have to take things like that into account. The longer the vehicle, the further back you have to be for them to see you in the mirror. But we're just going to be concentrating on this junction scenario today. So if you were going along a main road and there's a car waiting to pull out, you need to see the car and think to yourself, this car hasn't seen me. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my time what I like to do is I like to move over, just not as far as position 3, but just outside position 2. What that does is that pushes you further out to the road, which means that they've got more chance of seeing you. The second thing I do is, people say, you know, look at the driver's eyes, look at the driver's eyes. I don't do that because I've ha it's happened to me before. I've looked at the driver's face, they've looked directly at me, and they've still pulled out. You know, it's like, what are you doing? You just looked at me and you pulled out. What I like to do is look at the front wheels. All right, by looking at the front wheels, it is a lot easier to detect any sort of movement. Even if they move an inch, you will see the alloy in the wheel just moving that wee bit, and that gives you that indication that, oh, they're either going to pull out, or they've just stopped in time, or whatever. And as soon as you see that, you need to be prepared to stop. So just remember that, always stare at the wheels, all right? Don't look at the car, don't look at the driver. I mean, you can look at the driver at first, but then make sure that your eyes are locked onto those wheels. You're looking for any any kind of movement all right that is going to be the first place you're going to see the vehicle moving if the car does pull out you're going to have to do an emergency stop if there's the option to swerve out the way that's another option but it depends if there's something coming if there's something coming along the opposite direction swerving is not going to be an option you know so by getting as much information beforehand you've spotted this car you know say it's at the roundabout you can see the car waiting to pull out i'm already looking at the car is there anything that's going to make me think that car is going to pull out. So you have to observe everything that's going on there. All right, you have to make sure that if they do decide to pull out, you are going to be ready to do whatever needs to be done. It's handy to understand the reasons why car drivers pull out as well. So I mean, look at this absolute donut. He's on a main road. There's absolutely no reason for him to overtake, and he just overtook a car. I mean, why? What is what? What is his reason for that? That's the kind of things you have to look out for. All right. Car drivers can be really bad. I'm not saying every car driver is like that because they're not. There are a lot of really good responsible car drivers who do look out for bikers, but then you get some who don't. They just don't give a damn who's on the road. They'll overtake anything anywhere. So going back to what we're talking about, you have to look at why the car might pull out. So is it rush hour? With there being more traffic on the road, what you'll find is they'll see a gap, which is fine. 
when they see the gap, they'll go, oh, I'll pull out in that gap without thinking, oh, wait a minute, there might actually be a biker in that gap. And they'll pull out, and then that's when the smidzy happens. Sorry, mate, I didn't see you. You know, rush hour traffic, lots of cars, tiny wee gap, but they're completely unaware that there might be something in that, you know, in that space between the cars where they're going to try and pull out. So that's one scenario. Other scenario is days like this. You know, if they've got the sun shining in their face, their vision's going to be pretty impaired anyway. You know, so that's another situation where they might pull out. Well, Park's busy today. It's actually nice to see people out and about again, isn't it? It is really nice to see people getting on with their lives. And then, of course, there's the whole driver mentality who doesn't think about any other road user. They're not looking for bikes. They're not even thinking about bikes. You know, the kind of people that would overtake cyclists when there's a bus coming. You know, those kind of car drivers. You know, because you get them and they just don't give a damn. You know, they just pull out regardless if they see you or not. I actually had one not long ago. The roundabout in this area, it's a small mini roundabout. I was going right. The car was coming from the left and I was indicating to the right. He looked over. I assumed he saw me because he was looking at me. He was slowing down. Just as I went onto the mini roundabout, he floored it. He floored it. And as I was going round, he was actually right next to me. I got off the throttle. I kind of looked at him to say, what the hell are you doing? He took off slightly, pulled over. All right, got out his window, waved me down. And you want to know what he said to me? This is the honest truth. He said, sorry mate, I didn't see you. I just kind of shrugged him, uh, you know, what, what What? can you do? All right, what can you do? You know, I'm not going to be the kind of guy that's going to get off my bike and start shouting and bawling at him and making a scene. You know, it's happened, just let it go and get on with it. You know, there's no much point getting frustrated about it and going, oh, that, whatever, you know, nearly knocked me off my bike or whatever. You know, it's happened, you're fine. That guy's at fault, just, you know, let it go. Let it go. The last thing you want to be doing is getting stressed and angry when you're out on your bike, all right? So if that kind of stuff does happen, you know, don't don't go chasing after the guy, don't go making a scene, just a few deep breaths, brush it off and carry on, all right? So that generally happened a few weeks back and it was, it was frustrating because the guy was looking right at me as he was approaching the roundabout and he was slowing down and I'd seen him, he was slowing down, okay, it's another roundabout and like any other roundabout, just as I entered the roundabout, he floors it. I just don't know what his reasoning was, but that's the kind of things you have to look out for. I mean, fair enough, the guy stopped and apologised and did say, sorry mate, I didn't see you. But the problem is, is that could have been a worse situation, you know? So that smidzy is something that you have to have on your mind all the time when you're approaching a situation with other vehicles. So that's smidzy. Sorry mate, I didn't see you. And like we said, it can happen in many different situations unfortunately and it's just one of the things as bikers we need to be aware of and we need to be on point all the time because if you saw any of my videos mod one mod two just riding tips i'm always saying that the most important thing you can do is observe your observations are absolute key you know they're there to make you safe and potentially save your life one day you know lifesavers observations all that sort of stuff it's there for a reason so use it and i know at first it can be kind of frustrating you know trying to kind of remember to do all this stuff when you're out on the bike but you know don't get stressed about it this stuff it comes with time it comes with practice you know eventually you'll be doing all this stuff without even thinking about it and you'll get like a biker's brain where you kind of develop this sixth sense where you see something and you go that could potentially be a problem if you're practicing this stuff and you're finding that a wee bit awkward and taking time to get used to it don't worry don't worry that is completely natural you know no one picks stuff up straight away so uh, just get out in the road practice it well, anyway dudes this is just a short video on smidzy you might be aware of it you might not maybe you know all this stuff maybe you found something interesting or you've learned something new hopefully you found it useful if you guys like this video give it a thumbs up dudes i really do appreciate every single one of your likes and of course if you want to see all of my videos click on that subscribe button and ring the bell while you're there that way you'll get notified every time i upload a video but until next time dudes stay safe ride safe take it easy